he is a student of ms ramaya school of advanced studies have designed and developed a physiotherapy trainer kit the members involved in the group are lokesh singh christopher samrat ritesh das madan k vilas singh jyot vinay devakar and mansa k from the hsd and aml department our project guides are mrs pritam sampal and mr sri krishna r Many patients experience hand dysfunction due to neurological or orthopedic injury and diseases, including stroke, muscle weakness, and fractures. The proposed system is one such biofeedback device for hand motion rehabilitation. It employs the concept of biofeedback to give therapists an affordable and user-friendly access to finger flex and force parameters for appropriate rehabilitation. The system records the motion feedback through the sensors, which quantitatively measures the movement of fingers of the right hand. Most of the existing physiotherapy kits as shown in the figure require external aid from physiotherapists or doctors to be present when the patient is performing and also they are very bulky and have to be handled with care. Our developed product focuses mainly on reducing human effort both of the patient as well as the doctor or the physiotherapist. This is made possible by enabling the patient to carry out physiotherapy from any convenient place without anybody's aid. and then mailing the resulting game data to the doctor or the physiotherapist who can then suggest further advice based on the results obtained the other major features of our product include low cost ease of use compactness and reliability the major components involved in our kit are the four sensors fsr402 flex sensors from spectra symbol the output values of these sensors are calibrated and the resistance outputs are then converted into corresponding calibrated voltages through using voltage divider circuits and are fed as inputs to the processor which is the processor we have used here is ni dac 6008 the prototype we developed is shown here so basically the glove comprising of the four flex sensors placed on the outer side of the hand in order to detect the bending and the four sensors in order to detect the forces placed on the inner inner part of the hand and the third component is a processor which consists of the dac along with the voltage divider circuit and the processor is connected to the labview software interface through the usb cable the gui been developed on labview in order to implement the game the first four bars indicate the amount of flex that is the amount of bending being applied by the patient and the four, four bars on the right hand side indicate the amount of force being applied by the patient The graphs below each of these bars indicate the average values of the flow bending as well as the forces applied. Started by clicking on run and on clicking on run we can select the fingers or any combination of fingers or all four fingers at the same time which have to be monitored. And a file name is provided in order to store the data of force and flexes for remote monitoring or later review by the doctor or the physiotherapist. so each fingers bend will be indicated as shown in the gui and force applied for each finger is also indicated so in this way the patient will be given an object such as a ball and asked to be playing it for 30 seconds based on the amount of bending and amount of force applied the average values will be indicated on the graphs below once the game is played for 30 seconds the average results for each of the fingers indicating flex as well as forces have been shown and the total average score is provided on the right hand side along with the comment depending on how the patient has been performed once the game has been played the patient can enter his name and provide an provide the email address of the doctor
so once the email address is entered and clicked on ok an excel sheet having values for the patient playing the game for 30 seconds will be provided so once the game has been played and mailed the mail will be in the form of a tdms file which the physiotherapist or the doctor can monitor from anywhere and get back to the patient regarding the results so these are the values for every 30 seconds or every game played 3000 samples will be provided for the doctor to be reviewed the first three first four indicate the flex sensors and the remaining four indicate the force sensors based on these values the physiotherapist can come up with accurate readings and for the treatment or therapy to be given to the patient Three thousand samples.